one of the things that really happens and seldom talk about is that there's something called grooming. And it happens in the Pentecostal church, it happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. I will not use this sacred day in this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. I got my own flaws and my own faults, but I didn't do that. Nobody's shocked that T.D. Jakes is involved in this. And it Welcome to the moment of truth. Can you believe what Bishop, Bishop T.D. Jakes just said? He said, I, did, I never told you that I'm I'm hundred percent whatever whatever. That's an admi admission to me. So he's partly admitted that he was wrong, because he never told you that he's hundred percent okay. We do not we we we're not asking you to be hundred percent okay. Nobody is hundred percent okay. What we are saying now is. Why do you have to go to this party where you know that what they do there is money and sex? Why do you have to go there? The guy is Freemason. He's a no Freemason. What are you doing there? A grandfather? A man that has huge following? What are you doing there? With all your responsibility, what are you doing there? Please, my people, this is heartbreaking. I'm not surprised. None of American people, black Americans, even Africans, are surprised about this news. Because I've, I, I saw it coming. Right from the day of Eddie Long, I knew that this is going to come out one day. The Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. Stay tuned. I hear from one of his mentors that used to mentor him, warn him to stay away from grooming young people. And this is the method they use. It sounds alike. I've heard this somewhere. And I know this is happening. This is going on. Stay tuned. It happens in the Pentecostal church. It happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. And what that means is that there'll be a bishop, a pastor, apostle, someone who has big conferences, everybody knows, oh my God, they're the holy man of God. And they will pick their victims and they groom them. And it first goes through stage one where they ask questions. What are you into? What do you like? You need to tell daddy everything. And so they're using verbosity and they're using this type of garrulous narrative to try to make you feel uh, comfort, to make you build comfort with their victim. And then from there, it goes into stage two. And stage two is where it begins to become sexual. And it first starts by either making facetious jokes, um, making little statements in the windows. And then it goes into the questions of what turns you on? What do you like sexually? You need to tell me this because I need to know because I need to be able to pray for you. So it's almost like a psychological power game that they're playing with you. And in your head, if you say something wrong, they project it on you. They body shame you. Oh, you're too sexual. Oh, look at your body. Oh, you're the one that's making me do this. Oh, you. And so you have that in the back of your head and then you also have in their head of their dumb misinformed followers who are pushing this predatory narrative because they're so in awe with either trying to be like them either worshiping them or not worshiping god or worshiping their denomination or where they come from and so they're not even there seeing with the eyes of truth but they're there seeing out of carnality and so they're sitting up there and they're protecting them and the leader the bishop the pastor they know this and so they know and they feel invisible Oh, I can get away with this. I just have to make a statement to my church. I just have to tell them. And they're never going to question. Why is it so many people? Why is it always coming up? Why is everybody lying? So everybody's lying. Where there's a mouse, there's mice. And then it goes into the third stage. And the third stage is where they try to become intimate with you. And if you do not allow this, they drop you. They treat you like you're nothing. And they abandon that young male or that young woman. But... From my experience, I can only speak from a young male point of view. They abandoned that young male and they treat them like they're nothing. You just heard that from Prophet Jordan. It's not lying. It's some of the things I've heard before. I've done a video about it. When some of the predator, predator will tell you, sexual predator will tell, tell us. I've done a video, go and watch it. 
will tell you that um, they won't believe you. And they know it is true. But they are saying people will not believe them. Because people have so much trust in them. And they know their followers are blind. They will swallow anything and everything. So when they choose the abuser, they abuse them. They do all sort of all, all sort of things to them in the secret, and they say, if you tell anybody, nobody will believe you. We have this on record. I have it on video, and I've done a video about it. It is happening, my people, and it's God that is judging, judging these people. Look at the way he looked there. He's telling people to switch off, to log off, blah, blah. But it looks very, very scary. He's scared. He's scared. He looked very scared there. And um, his daughters, they all look down. The wife is nowhere. She cannot even show her face because she knows that these things are really going on. Their wives are part of it. They know it and they cover up for them because it's part of the covenant. They sign off with Satan. That's why I keep telling you, my people, don't go to Satan for anything, no. Hey, the same way he lifts you up when his time comes, that's the same way he will bring you down. Satan has no permanent gifts. He gives you fame, he will use the same fame to destroy you. He gives you money, he will use the same money to destroy you. Satan has no good gifts. And that's why you have to wait on the Lord. Let God be your everything. Everything you have, let it be from God. Don't run to Satan for power, for advice, advice, for money, for fame, for anything. Even for children. You will not enjoy them. Nothing good in the hands of Satan. Ah, T.D. Jakes is Illuminati. We know that for a very long time. Freemason, he has been to all these courts and know, and know that. For what? For names, for fame, for money, for influence. And see the end now. Some people have already sued him. And that's how he wastes all the money. And uh, on top of that, <laughs> I don't see him coming out of this. Because we've seen the example of uh, Eddie Long. I'll bring you another, another video, which will be part three. I see you on my next video. Bye for now. It's not only TD Jakes. There's one. There, 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 are, there are loads of them in Nigeria as well. Bye for now.